Hi, Michael Mowbray here from Molite. I'm here to talk to you today about our GoMo 48 inch Octa. Do you like it big? Do you like it soft? Do you like it durable? Do you like it tough? Don't know where I'm going with this, but I'm talking about the GoMo 48 inch Octa box. It's our largest portable soft box that we carry. It's super durable, made out of durable, basically studio quality construction, yet easily tears down, easily breaks down, easy to set up again when you're going on location for weddings, for headshots, whatever. So it's the best of both worlds. Studio quality, but the portability of an umbrella style softbox, yet not like your normal umbrella style softbox. We're talking about beefy spines. We're talking about durable materials. We're talking about something that's not gonna get all bent up. We're talking about something that you can invest in once and keep for a very, 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 very long time. As a matter of fact, in all these videos that I'm showing for my GoMo soft boxes, these are my own personal boxes. There's not a single one of these that's less than a year old. And this is what they look like. They look like brand new. Why? It's not that I baby my gear. I throw the stuff in the back of my truck all the time when I'm going out on, going out on location. So we're talking again, durability and toughness in a portable box. So let's talk about some of the features. All my soft boxes come with a grid, which is really important if you're trying to control your light precisely, if you're trying to control spill. I don't know why so many other softbox manufacturers make you pay extra for a grid. That's ridiculous. It should be included. Why? Because you need it at some point or another. You have to have a grid. So we include it. We've got two layers of diffusion. Why? Because it helps scatter those light rays in different directions and that really reduces specularity. Softness is a function of the size of the box Reduced specularity is because we're using double diffusion. Also reducing specularity is our pebbled interior. It's not shiny mirror-like material. It's shiny silver, but it's pebbled. So that helps to scatter those light rays even further. So a lot of details go into my soft boxes. Why? Because I care about lighting and so should you. So let's take a look at some of the interior features on this. As a matter of fact, let's tear one apart. The grid's really easy to take out as well as the outer diffusion panel. Why? Velcro. Super industrial strength Velcro. The inner baffle is clipped in. Just unclip, 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 unclip. Ta-da! And that gets us into the interior of the box. You can see what I'm talking about with the pebbled silver interior. Again, another feature that helps get those light rays going in different directions so they're not all concentrating right in the middle of somebody's forehead, and especially if they've got a shiny forehead, you're going to see that specularity. This helps reduce that. Uh, the construction, as you can see, super durable, beefy spines. And we're going to do a fly through the box here in just a second. Uh, strong central spine. Really nice caging system here in the back if you're using a bare bulb strobe like the AD362 or the AD600BM. It helps protect your bare bulb strobe coming into the back. So let's take a look at a fly through from our GoPro. You can see these details up close. Flying through the box with our GoPro, you can see that strong central spine leading back to our release system as well as the caging system. Take a look at the, how beefy those spines are. You don't find that in any other portable softbox on the planet. And that's what makes this softbox very special. At the outer edge, two inches of super industrial strength Velcro. Gives you enough room to make sure that your outer panel is easy to have recessed off the lip. To collapse the box is a matter of just taking the palm of your hand and your fingers, reaching back into the caging system, pressing down, press the release, folds up just as simple as that. Release it from the Bowens mount, throw it in your lighting bag and you're ready to roll. To set it back up, it's just a matter of spreading it back out, taking your thumbs, Press that back until it catches. Now you're ready to rock and roll. You clip in your inner diffusion panel, your baffle. Never be baffled by your baffle. 
you can see how quick and easy this is to set up, especially if you've been using a softbox that uses rods. Oh my gosh. Talk about a pain in the butt. Done. Velcro back in your diffusion panel. If you want to use your grid at this point, flip it back up. Or what I'll do if I decide I don't want to use the grid, I still leave it attached down here and just let it dangle. The only time it's going to be a problem is if you're outside and maybe picking up grasses and stuff like that, then you may want to take it off. But here in the studio or on location inside, leave it attached. Because maybe the next shot you take, you want to have the grid. You flip it up and attach it to the Velcro. All my GOMO boxes come with a Bowens S mount. Very easy to release. You just release it here, twist, turn, done. Set it back up, line up, click, boom, done. It's just that easy. Hey, I don't like wasting time on location at all. I'm Mr. Efficiency. This to me is the Mr. Efficiency of soft boxes. So check out the GOMO 48 inch Octa. It's gonna give you super soft light. And it's gonna be really easy to set up and last you a good long time.